Now you can quickly add springs to your scenes and animations with the new spring tool. With the spring tool you can easily add standard, dynamic, or spline springs to your scenes in a few easy steps and the springs are highly adjustable. The spring tool has a round or flat style that you can customize to give you many different types of springs. Let's take a look at the tool's features. Okay, so we'll go to controls and I'll just make a couple of nulls. I'm going to change this to sphere. I'll make it a little bit bigger. And so we can see it better, I'll change the color. Then I'll copy it. And I'll go back to our controls and I'll drag these nulls in object one and object two. And now if I select either of these nulls and move them around, the spring goes with it. I'll go back to controls. And for a spring style, I have round, none, or flat. And I'll change this to flat. I'll put a material on there so we can see this a little better. Click on controls again. And for now, I'll change this back to round. I can change the height bias. And I can change the number of turns. And I'll go down a little bit. The spring thickness and the radius. And then I'll change this to flat. And you can change the spring radius on either flat or round with this. And then there's controls for the flat spring. And you can change those here. The thickness. And you can also add a fillet. There's also controls at the bottom that you can adjust the distance from the null. And since we're in the Y direction, I'll move this up. Depending on the shape of your object you connected it to, you may need to adjust the distance. And there's also an X and Z distance. Okay, so now I'll go back up and I'll change this back to round. And I'll change the type from standard to dynamic. And in the case of the dynamic springs, I would need to add, say, like a cube for the objects. And then I would need to add simulation tags on both of those. We'll get into that in our next video. So I'll change this from dynamic to spline. And I'll put a material on this. And we have a preset spline for or the spline spring. If I click on any of these nulls, I can move that around and adjust how I want the spring to be. I can also use another spline, so I'll make a circle here. I'll go to my controls and I'll drag this circle into the spline. And now if I go down to the spline spring controls, I can change the height of the spring. If I go back up here, I can change the number of turns. I also have more controls here for the offset and keep length or fit spline. And that gives you a good idea of what the spring tool can do. In the next tutorial, we're going to make a dynamic spring setup for a plunger for a pinball machine.